Hi, so this is just a quick share and an update of a little bit of information that's kind of really cool. Now the reason we did acetone water in the um, homogenizer and the sonicator is it's a relatively safe solvent and people are always looking for safe. And that's okay because if you're doing this stuff in your garage, your shed or your um, living room, <laughs> I have done this in my living room, um, then what you need is a safe solvent. But there are better solvents out there that are still quite easy to get hold of. And one of the um, really good solvents that I've come across is actually um, this stuff. It is in fact a UPVC cleaner and it's Sebesto Type 10. Now it's predominantly ethyl acetate, but it's got a half a dozen other things in there making it a co-solvent. And if you want to know what's in there, just look up the MSDS for this Type 10 cleaner. It'll give you a list of what's actually in there. And it's absolutely brilliant for liquid phase exfoliation using a low power sonication bath. It does a really good job. You need to sonicate it for quite a long time, sort of the eight hour region. But after you've done that, you'll create a graphene stable solution that lasts for ages. Now, like I say, um, it's not a safe solvent. It has problems with it. And one of the problems with it is it's very, very volatile. So you have to deal with it like you deal with any volatile substance. That is, don't work with it in an enclosed area, don't smoke a cigarette around it, don't give it your kids to drink, that kind of thing. You know, the sensible sort of stuff. Um, it smells of pears, actually. It's got quite a nice smell. And so in some countries it might be restricted because um, obviously kids get themselves a crisp packet and stuff this stuff in there and sniff themselves into high heaven with it. So you might find it a bit difficult to buy unless you're actually an adult. But uh, it's readily available throughout Europe and does a really good job. Anyway, just a quick update to share that bit of information with you to help you make your own graphene. Hope it helped and thank you very much for watching.